Welcome to Fine Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna to be firing up over here at Disneyland for Food and Wine Festival. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Cali Bear. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host of Mondo. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Brought my hunger today. Today is food and wine. I am excited. We're gonna buy, I think, the eight tabs. So we're gonna be eating a lot of foods. Hopefully they're doing the entertainment. It was kind of raining earlier and it's all dry now and it's actually a sunny day. So hopefully we get the full uh, lineup of everything offering food and wine wise. <laughs> we're here with Just Ask Danny in the house. We're gonna be doing lots of food reviews. Yes. But before we get that started, Danny, what is going on here, dude? What is going on? Merch. It's all themed to the booths, which is cool. I mean, we've had custom booth logos for like three or four years. Yeah. And everyone's always said they should do merch for it. They finally did, but then we don't even have all the booths that they're advertising. So they <laughs> like, uh, to, what is it? Avocado Time. They decided to highlight Avocado Time, which is normally like a big booth. It's a popular booth, I would say. It's not even here this year. <laughs> Got ears? It's not even here. And then, to top it off, then yeah. To top, what is what is what is going on at this? The magic keyword. <laughs> so, I heart artichokes doesn't exist. Avocado time doesn't exist. <laughs> Not just one, but two. <laughs> Only thing I could think of this was last year's merch, and they just finally got it. Uh, or the teams here just don't like correlate and be like, hey. Avocado time's not coming this year. Also, too, they have a food and wine 2024 spirit jersey. Love the colors. That's nice. Very nice. Uh, this one is sold variable pricing. So it'll probably be 70 on a Thursday, 90 bucks on a Sunday. They even got a pin, Danny. And it says 2024. Avocado with, time. Uh, avocado time. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one that doesn't exist? Uh, I love artichokes, right? Yeah, I heard artichokes. Oh my gosh. Well, this one's cool. Really like that. The merch we just looked at is available over here at the entrance at Five and Dime. You could even buy your lanyard uh, for food and wine there as well, but it's kind of busy. We're gonna go check out how much these prices are for the lanyards and get to the food. I'm hungry. Just bought our lanyard for the Sip and Saver. It does come with this really cool lanyard if you're a magic key holder. But it's only with the eight option. If you buy the three option, or no, it's four. They sell a four sip and saver and an eight. Uh, they're being priced for 31 and 61. Uh, mine comes with the discount for Magic Key, thankfully. But the 31 does not. You cannot get a discount on that one. Only the eight sip and saver pass. I've had a chance to talk to some of the Fine Fire community that have come and said hi to me. And they're saying it's crazy. It is very busy today. Uh, the lines for the booths are actually crazy too. That line is for the booths that are in that extended area of Carthay Circle. Uh, one of my best tips I could give you is order all your foods that you know you're gonna wanna eat at one cash register, and then just go pick up the rest of the items with your receipt. You cannot lose the receipt because then you're out of luck at that point. That receipt is like gold. Once you order all your items, just go to the pickup windows and then you save so much time. That's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna literally order all eight items. Over here at Carthay Circle Expansion where Ernesto de la Cruz used to be, we're gonna have the frozen old fashioned. To start off our food and wine adventure, old fashioned paleta. We'll see how this goes. The paletas have not had a good tracker with track this, record and, with me. And this is the first one that's themed to a cocktail. Yeah, old fashioned it's paleta. It's themed to an old fashioned, so it's got a bourbon flavor, it's got bitters, everything you'd find in an old fashioned, but it's not alcoholic. And uh, the other paletas was this like guacamole paleta. The street corn. And then a corn. Yeah, I'm not even. Gonna... Hopefully this one's good. So this one's themed to a cocktail. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see if it tastes like an old fashioned. Can you taste that bourbon? Wow. I love it. Right away, what's standing I out to you it. on it? It does taste like an alcoholic drink. It does. I almost feel they should have gone the extra step and made it alcoholic. I know it sounds weird to say that, but uh, this is an old fashioned in a paleta. Uh, I, I love it. Mm. What are the little popping bobas? I think it's orange. All orange. All of this here works really great. Uh, I, whatever those ingredients are in here, it tastes just so, like that. So the paleta <laughs> is redeemed for 2024. This is great. I give it, honestly, I'm gonna go five fire, dude. I, I love it. 
Dang. I, I could easily, easily finish this, but we got a long journey to go. We're so. starting off right over yeah, here. No, this is Five Fire. This is from Golden Dream. Easy Five Fire. Danny, I thought it's the first week of March. What? Yeah. It's so packed out here. Today is Sunday. Maybe that's why it's packed like this. But I feel like it's just like this every day now. <laughs> no line for pickup. Okay. Our strategy of ordering all our foods in one register is working out really well. Here we got the olive oil cake from Delis Stand, which is right across Wine Country, Tutoria. This is going to be the next item we're trying. There's a lot of entertainment this year for food and wine. Here we got these showtimes, Tina Aldana, which is always a lot of fun. Thomasina is gonna have some deets. Fat Cat Swinger, wow, hiatus. And what is this one, Danny? That's the grilled top sirloin. So you got like chimichurri, red jalapenos, mashed potatoes, top sirloin steak. So this is a returning festival favorite, but um, I don't remember trying it, so I wanted to try it, but I know it is a fan favorite. Yeah. That's why it's returning. Right? I've had it before. I don't think we had it last year because we were doing the whole only get new things. Yeah. So we're coming back to it. Let's see if it's good. It looks good. Olive oil cake. I love olive oil. I cook with it every day. It's, I, I, I do my eggs, cook my chicken. Olive oil is a staple for me when I'm cooking. Um, and avocado oil. Big fan of avocado oil. It's good. Is it weird? It's very lemony. Lemony? Like lemon desserts? This is the most lemon dessert you could ever have. <laughs> it's super, so lemon meter 10? Yeah, lemon meter 15 million. <laughs> Kicks you in the face with lemon, right? Hold on, hold on. Lemon. <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm fighting to get it down, Danny. The, the lemon is so like rich. That's the best way I can describe it. And, and then the aftertaste is like, it's just a tsunami of lemon cake hitting me. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan. I'm going to go with uh, 1.5 fires out of five. Okay. Uh, I don't recommend it. How, how many fires did you get? Uh, I'm going to give it uh, two fires. Two fires, yeah. It's a, it is a moist cake. It's not dry. Um, and it's lemon. Dude. So if you like lemon, they're good. With you that. like lemon cake <laughs> from like coffee bean? Uh, yeah. Even even it's, Starbucks. It, it tastes very similar to lemon pound cake. Yeah, like a lemon pound cake, but like extreme lemon. It, it, very extreme. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> and before we move on from the lemon cake over here, yeah, what makes it olive oil? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what olive oil would have tasted like on a lemon cake. Maybe that's what's giving it I'm the moist. Over at the board. Yeah, maybe just make that's what makes it moist. Just makes it moist, I guess. All right, here we go. Garlic kissed and a little, uh, little Pepper bit of everything. Mm. This is the spot. Mm -hmm. The pepper makes it. The the green stuff. Oh, oh, oh I see. That's good. Fan really favorite. Good. I feel like the only reason we didn't get it last year or, or just you know previous because we've had it before. It is really good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing five fire. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mondo's going in for the top sirloin from Garlic Kissed. And just all the flavors work together well. It just works so good together. You got wow. that jalapeno. Wow. You got that top sirloin, the chimichurri. Instant, instant five fire. <laughs> Delicious. I would get that again. I, if I ever got a tab again, this has to be one of the items, no matter what. So instead of eight items, it's seven really, because one of them is this. All right, so, so far, paleta and this. I almost want to say this is the best uh, item at Food & Wine. <laughs> this is going to be hard to beat. Uh, it, what, are those pizza wings screaming your name, Mondo? We're going to try them. It's so <laughs> weird. Also, too, we got news about uh, the pizza wings. And the brisket slider. The brisket slider, you could only get those by waiting in line. At that booth. At that booth. You can't pre-order. <laughs> so that's some good info. Yeah. Over here at Cluck A Doodle Moo, you have to wait in a long line to order your food. And then, you know, these things take a long time to cook. Either if you get the beef slider or the chicken wings, and then you got to wait in another long line just for pickup. So bring your patience. This is not my first rodeo with food and wine. So seeing these absurd long lines, just another day at the office, but 
bring your patience. I can't emphasize that enough. Over here next to Golden Zephyr, we have Clock a Doodle Boo. Uh, honestly, dividing and conquer was the right move, Danny. It was. Because I had to wait like 10, 15 minutes on my and, end. And more on that tip that Mondo shared, you can order from every booth at this booth or, or at any of the booths, but this one you can't from other ones. I don't know why, but the thing is, is if you wait in line at this booth, you can order here plus everywhere else. So maybe wait in this one, yes. order everything from this one. From this one. So this is the one line you wait in. Yeah. Clock yeah. a doodle moo. We're getting cheese pizza flavored wings with ranch. Here they are. Let's try it. Let's go. I've never heard of pizza chicken wings. That's the combo I just wouldn't even think about. It comes with ranch. I love chicken wings. I feel like usually the chicken wings are kind of dry. Uh, these are kind of looking like that. But let's taste them and uh, give a review. You can kind of see it on there. It doesn't taste anything like pizza. They remind me of those, uh, like, Lay's, cheese, cheese Lay's. Does that make sense? Does it, is it kind of mid? Um, I gotta do it with the sauce, though. You gotta do it with the sauce? I don't know if this will be controversial, but I like them. I like them. I'm gonna go with the Fort Fire. It's something I would get again. It's good. I think it's good. Like, but the, but pizza wise, it's a it's a zero. It tastes nothing like pizza. These are like cheese fries, cheese, <laughs> cheese wings, I guess. Uh, I'm excited to try them. All right, Danny. Pizza wings. I think the name is is what they should have just called them cheese wings. It just tastes like wings. <laughs> I, I thought it was safe. I don't Bro, get a pizza. There's no pizza in these pizza wings. These are like. Like a dash of cheese lace. Maybe like a hint of it when you first bite. But they're good. I thought they were good. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, they're pretty good. And they're not dry, shockingly. Yeah, four like, out of five. They cooked them good. <laughs> so, so far, food and wine has been a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, there's ups and downs when you try all these foods, but I'm enjoying this experience of uh, trying these weird and wacky foods. We got a new item, Danny. We're about to go wait in line because you have yeah, to. <laughs> and I actually, uh, you can't tell because I got a jacket on because it's kind of cold. But I got my Avatar shirt on. I have my Avatar uh, Magic Band because we got cheeseburger pods from Avatar in VCA for the beat first that. time. You don't have to go to Florida. I know it's a little <laughs> different. It has like the Big Mac sauce on it and pickles, but I'm I'm still like it's uh, making me think of cheeseburger vow. <laughs> what could go wrong? I love yeah. it. I love it. Danny's waiting for the cheeseburger bow bun, but I saw that they're doing the entertainment over here. Let's check it out. Here it is, everybody. Cheeseburger bao, grilled onion, sesame seed. They got like in and out sauce. Can't wait. This is like my most anticipated items. I could just smell this. It smells so good. 10 out of 10, five out of five. Just everything. Does it remind you of Florida though? That's a question uh, I'm asking. No, but it's different. It, it gives me a little bit of a reminder of it, but. So it's its so own good. thing. We got the Cali version. What is the Cali? Let me see what does it look like in there? It was the in and out version. Oh, it, it reminds you of In-N-Out? Oh, yeah. This is like a double-double. A double-double bow. That's what they should have called it. Double-double bow. <laughs> wow. First thoughts? Whatever you think an In-N-Out double-double tastes like, in a bow. Dude. That, they should, they, they, if you had told me this is sponsored by In-N-Out, I believe This should have been a collab. Yeah. This, as California as it gets, In-N-Out. But, uh... Instant five fires. I want to say this is better than the garlic kiss. I thought nothing was going to be garlic kiss, but uh, this beat it. Yeah, and this is new. This beat it. Great job, Dizzy. Whoever created this, you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> five bring fire. it. Bring it as a, a stay. This should item. be a staple. Put it at Paradise Garden Grill or something. Yeah. This is good. This is freaking. Get good. rid of those uh, buffalo uh, tenders. Yeah. And put this there instead. <laughs> bomb.
is that? It's not showing me who it is. Wow. Well, she's really good. <laughs> I know who it is. It's Cassie, Cassie B. B. Yeah, she's good. So, walking to uh, Pepper Caliente over here by Grizzly River, avocado time, just photo op, and nobody's taking photos with it because there's no booth, Danny. There's no booth. There's no booth. What? Uh, Disney, is avocado time supposed to come this year? Please bring it. Avocado time's always a great stand. I, I'm shocked that it's not here. Over here next to Grizzly, we have Peppers Caliente. They have the chile relleno empanada. And this is where we're gonna get the shrimp papa locas. Uh, people already told us those are really, that the shrimp one was really good. These actually look really, really good. This is new. I don't really call the shrimp, Danny. Papas locas. Yeah, I don't They're call like them. They're like loaded shrimp fries, sort of. Or like potato tots. Some people already told us they're good. And the empanada, Right, yeah, it's already good. That's not new, right? I thought it was new the Is way it? they did it this year. Yeah. Oh, different, different like different recipe. Style. Yeah, different inside. I think. All right, Mondo's going into the shrimp papas locas first. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything, you know. This is from the Peppers Caliente, so I'm expecting hot, spicy. Wow. So what what does it taste like? Explain it. The shrimp definitely dominates the flavor here. It has a nice kick to it. I taste like onions. Do you taste the jalapeno at all? For some reason, I'm, the papa's just not coming through flavor-wise. All this crema and different sauces, it all works really well. It just tastes like a, a, a shrimp crema spicy-ass potato. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. What would you rate it? Um, You know, let me just get potato real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go with three fires. Like, the bold flavors, are good so i'm just right in the middle like i don't hate it i don't love it right in the middle i don't even I, honestly i would not get this as a dish and it's really hard right now too because we're coming off the cheeseburger bao bun which is like god mode so maybe that's why this is not having a good chance of being amazing but i give it three five there cheese pull that's what's up that could not be bad oh man is it is it let me see again Dude, they, they really put cheese in there this time. I feel like in previous year they went like kind of light on that, but no, that, that looks like, we already got like three or four people that told us the empanada is just good. Four out of five, maybe 4.5 out of five. 4.5 out of five. So use a tap for sure then mm -hmm. on that. Huh? Immediate five out of fires for you, I know. Five, five out of fires right there. Wow. <laughs> I five like, out of five. It's kind of spicy. It is spicy. This is caliente right here. That chile relleno, I ate the whole thing, at least my half of it. It's still kicking my butt, that is spicy. So beware, that's a legitimate caliente, caliente option right there. Originally, I was gonna do a separate video of just vegan and plant-based items. Come to find out, it's very few selections. So I'm just gonna bundle it up all in this video. So we're gonna get those options and all these other food options. This is gonna be the best food and wine video you've ever watched. It's fired up. Soaring over California has returned. It should always be over California. It's only California Venture, Danny. Uh, it's yeah. only California Venture, dude. Uh, and if you ride this ride first thing in the morning, you get a cutie orange. Yeah, I saw that on TikTok or Twitter or whatever. They were handing out cuties uh, in the morning and uh, the parks are sponsored by cuties. They sell them in the parks too, so yep. makes sense. Uh, they should sponsor this ride. Shout out to Bridget. She actually tried the banana pudding churro, Danny, and she said yeah, it was butterscotch terrible. Banana churro. She said it was gross. Butterscotch banana churro. It was gross. We're not gonna waste our time on that one today. That's a that's a battle for a different day. Churros is not on the list today. Not on the list today, but yeah. maybe in a future video. Yeah. Uh, up next, we're going to LA style. LA style, and I think the Earth Eats is over. Oh there. yeah, Earth Eats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna try the food and review We've it ourselves. Done a pretty good job of getting through it all. I know. Even though the lines are long, they're moving. I know. They're we moving. We gotta backtrack over to Paradise Garden Grill, so that'll be one of the, the last finisher. We do. Yeah. Over here next to Monster Zinc, we're going to Earth Eats, and this is where we're gonna try the Impossible items: Impossible Chicken Parm Bite, Impossible Beef Stroganoff. And a lot of people have said that watermelon cucumber mojito is delicious. And then right behind me, we're also going to be trying LA style. 
And this is one of the more popular ones, has a humongous line to pick up. Uh, we're gonna try the Baja style fish tacos. And I'm not sure if Danny ordered the carnita style pork belly, but we're gonna find out. This is the impossible beef stroganoff with egg noodles tossed in mushroom cream sauce with impossible beef and sour cream. And then we also got the impossible chicken parm bites, tomato and cheese sauces grated with Parmesan. Here are the two items from Earth Eats. And these are considered vegetarian. Vegetarian, vegetarian. Not, not vegan, these are vegetarian. Uh, we did get a vegan item though, and it's this one. Uh, fish tacos that they're considering, mm -hmm. right? The Baja like fish taco or whatever. Yep. And then uh, right next to that, we got this big chunk of uh, Pork oh, belly. Pork belly. Pork belly. It's supposed to come with mac, but they ran out of that. And we're fine with no mac. Uh, we've had enough mac and we're cheese good with mac. for like three, the next three years. Yeah. <laughs> this was, it was an opportunity I had to take because Disney, if you guys don't know, do not accept any modifications to any food booth items, period. Yeah, they've never, so, as, long, as long as I've been covering any of these booths, they've never yeah, changed anything. So if you want to leave anything off, they'll say you cannot. But in this case, they had a really long line and all those people needed to be seen. And if we were okay with not getting the mac salad, they were okay with modifying it. So and that's how I was we, down. That's how we, <laughs> we skipped the line, not skipped the line, but they just offered us the different yeah. offering. And move, so I'm gonna go in with your day belly first. Um, all right, let's see what Danny thinks. Wow. That's fire. <laughs> just hits the spot? This is good. They should have done pork belly sliders. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. I'm gonna go with four fire, just cause we didn't get the full offering, so I can't. But from the pork belly perspective, that's really good. I wish that was in a slider. It would've been perfect. They've had a slider in the past for pork belly. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking. No, <laughs> it's good. Next up, Baja fish taco that's vegan. Uh, mystery ingredients. Uh, we don't even know what these fishes are. What the fish up. is made out of. Yeah, we, no idea. <laughs> This is not an impossible item either, because usually always they call it out. So it's not, I don't think it's impossible. Mm, wow. It's good. The first thing that stands out, this is like a, like a, a, ref, like a refreshing Baja fresh, like a taco, like a fresh Baja taco. I'm gonna go with a, a 3.7, 3.7, I was almost giving it 3.7, 3.7 out of five fires. Um, if you're looking for a vegan option, this, this is probably the, the go-to, honestly. Uh, it's good. It's good. This is one of two vegan items at this year's festival. And the crazy part about the vegan items is they put them so far away from each other. You got to go over here in my Monster Zinc, and the other one is at uh, Paradise Garden Grill, right? Yeah. So total opposites as far as they could go. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like it. I like it. We've tra transitioned away from LA style. Now we are at Earth Eats. Earth Eats. And Mondo's going in for one of the two vegetarian, not vegan, vegetarian items. This is beef stroganoff. Stroganoff. Egg noodle. Egg, it's made with egg noodles and it has, uh, stroganoff is a cream based sauce and it's got cream on top of it as well. So this is a dairy nightmare for those of the people that don't like dairy. Beef stroganoff. <laughs> Did you find your first miss of the festival? <laughs> this was a really hard one to just try to <laughs> be uh, objective on. <laughs> yeah. um, this is instantly uh, negative three fires. Not even on the positive scale, it's on the negative fires. Uh, do not get this. I, I, I do not know what the, I don't know what they were trying to do with this one. Uh, no, the answer is just no. No, of uh, no. <laughs> All right, we're on the second Earth Eats item. Let's see if the chicken parm bites can redeem the beef stroganoff. Let's go on. Hopefully this is a redeemable one. This is a highlight. Okay, okay. A thousand times better than the beef stroganoff. Um, this is actually good. This is actually good. Marinara, everything works like in sequence. Like it makes, this makes sense. I'm gonna have to give it 3.75 fires. 
Uh, if you're going to Earth Eats, get this. I, I would actually recommend this. Uh, you're looking for a vegetarian option. This is it. This is this is probably hard. I don't find it that any of the other vegetarian items are going to be better than this one. This is the go-to. 3.75. I gave it a 3.75 for the chicken parm vegan bites. Uh, where are you at with this with this one, Daddy? I'm at three. Okay. It's still good, but I, I don't necessarily know that I would recommend someone use their tasting tab on this one. Um, but if you're vegetarian, I think this is the go-to. Yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if you're vegetarian, not vegan. Yeah, vegetarian. Um, this would be a really good option for you, especially if you like really like that parmesan chicken parmesan. It works. That would work. It works, yeah, so it works as a chicken parmesan dish, um, especially being that there's no actual chicken in this. So. Yeah. It's crazy how they made that be chickeny. And the fish taco is fishy. Yeah. Fishy. <laughs> I don't even know if those are words. So just to give a breakdown, uh, the one vegan item that we have tried was the fish taco. And it was really good. Really good. We gave it a 3.75. Uh, for the vegetarian items, we had the chile relleno. And then the two, the beef stroganoff. And then the chicken parm bites uh, from Earth Eats. Another one was from Caliente. Those uh, are the four items that you could get with the sip and savor pass. Uh, there is one more item that is vegan and it's the loaded potato from Paradise Garden Grill all the way over there by Goofy's uh, Sky School. That one you have to pay for a full serving's worth. Up next, we're over here at Studio Catering Company next to Monsters Inc. for a chicken lollipop. And this is actually part of sip and savor. A chicken lollipop, I've never had that before. Here is the chicken lollipop. <laughs> so the beer brine Poblano mashed potatoes, Annie. Let's try them. I don't know. Bit. How's it looking? Looking pretty good. You only get one, one chicken lollipop. Mm. So Danny just experienced, there's some bones. I'm bones. There's some bones coming out of that chicken wing. Or that chicken. <laughs> it's good. The, the, the Poblano potatoes. Yeah, pretty good. How many fires would you give that dish? Um. Oh, so really good. Damn, mm -hmm. okay. That's, uh, is, is that worth a tap? Like, you, would you recommend someone to get a tap on that? I mean, price-wise, yeah. But if you only have four options, no. Yeah, Price-wise, this is priced at $8. Right um, where you want to be. And if you're using your magic key to get the eight tabs, you're you're about $7 a tab as far as how much money you paid. So you're saving a dollar on this one. Oh, That's yeah. good. It's like a subtle kind of mashed potato. It's not, not something that just kicks at you. The chicken, really good too. Very subtle. This I, didn't a, taste, I didn't taste the beer though. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's very subtle. That's the best way to describe this dish. Uh, I'm going to give it three fires. I, I, I would say skip on the tasting tab. I, I, I don't think to use a tab on this. To get the charcuterie sandwich, you got to go to Sonoma Terrace over here next to Wine Country Tutoria. As always, opening weekend at Disney, something always goes wrong. The charcuterie flatbread is part of Sip and Savor, but today it's not. Yeah, she mentioned that there was a technical <laughs> issue and that uh, this location, Sonoma Terrace, wouldn't be included in Sip and Savor until midweek uh, when they can get the technical issue sorted out. Yeah. So there's no way for them to actually redeem our, your our Sip and Savor sip today. And savor, uh, at all so if you want to get the charcuterie flatbread it's 729 uh plus tax and uh, they run out really fast because it's really popular yeah and even the cash register lady said they're really good so yeah i guess we missed out today <laughs> <laughs> since we couldn't get the charcuterie board we're gonna go on the sweet side come back to craft and brews and get the s'mores caramel tart all the way in the back corner this is our first time going this far this is like the beer area, Festival Beer Garden, lots to choose from. We're heading to Paradise Garden Grill. Uh, what is this? Oh, here it is, loaded carnita pretzel bites. And it is part of Sip and Savor, at least yeah, let's hope it is. And if you guys have ever had the carne asada fries at Award Wieners that everyone loves, it has that same salsa on top, the avocado salsa or whatever. Damn. I was gonna use it on the pretzel bites, my last tab, but somebody, like, shout out to the Five Fire community. She told us I have to get the the pistachio cheesecake 
but it's unbelievable. So we're gonna get that, and that's over here at Paradise Garden Grill. Paradise Garden Grill. This is the beef slider over there by uh, Golden Zephyr. Fur. What'd you think, Danny? Five out of five. Just... They have a good amount of beef brisket on there. They give you a good chunk. The white cheddar really the, sent out. The bun, everything's just so good. Wow. Loves this one, and I love it. They give you a ton of beef on this one. Definitely made it worth your tasting. This is one of three items I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Instant five heart. Instant. Instant five heart. All right, so we've finished the day. These are the last two items, and we're finishing with dessert. Yeah. So we've got the s'mores tart over here, which is a uh, chocolate ganache and caramel tart with a graham cracker crust and marshmallow toasted on the top. And then we got the cheesecake over here, the pistachio cheesecake, uh, which is over here at the Paradise Garden Grill. Uh, we haven't gotten much dessert items today. I, the only one we had was the olive oil cake. Yeah. So this one you is, uh, I, I think Mata's gonna really like the cheesecake, so he's gonna start with that one first. Was it good? Wow. The crazy part about this cheesecake, it's not like a like an overpowering rich cheesecake. It's very subtle. Um, I love it. I love it. I, let me get another bite. Five fires. I won't be t I won't be trying any of this since it's cheesecake, but Mondo easily finish all that. Can finish that. <laughs> it's really good. Really, this really is a uh, six seventy five, so just under the seven dollar tagline. But if you've been saving money on every single item throughout the entire day on your eight pack of tastings, you can afford one that's just twenty five cents less. Might as well. <laughs> this is worth it. In there. You got the marshmallow over here and the graham cracker on the outside. I'm just glad to finally make it to this point. This is the end of the food experience at Food and Wine. Overall, I've had a blast. Um, it is worth getting a tasting tab. It's just been fun. It's been a lot of fun trying all these treats. This is it. Chocolate ganache. Yeah. This food and wine festival, it's either very subtle where it's like hint of taste of things or extreme opposite of like super rich and just punches you in the mouth. This is the punches you in the mouth of ganache, dude. <laughs> it's just too damn rich. <laughs> 1.5 fires uh, I do not recommend it. do not recommend using a tab and especially do not recommend buying it uh, just skip get the, the, the pistachio cheesecake get that without a doubt what an adventure we've had over here at California Adventure food and wine festival has been wonderful the entertainment was all a lot of fun but most importantly the food the food adventure that we had today ranged from so many different flavors uh, and just the variety of food is, is good. Uh, nothing really resembles like one or the other dish from different booths, like Festival of Holidays, Mac and Cheese Festival, it was ridiculous. But food and wine, get the tasting tabs. Uh, in my opinion, if you have a magic key, I recommend getting the eight, the eight tabs, not the four. Four is great if you're visiting for one day. Uh, one item that I can't emphasize enough is the cheeseburger bao bun. That thing was absolutely delicious. I, I, I would get that every trip if I could. Uh, and really out of nowhere, the last item, the cheese pistachio cheesecake. I thought it was great. I'm a big pistachio fan and that hit the pistachio sweet tooth without a doubt. What was uh, your top item, Danny? Top item, cheeseburger bow for sure. Um, and then I would say probably the returning favorite, the sirloin. Yeah, the sirloin at Garlic Kiss. Yeah. And also, too, the, the freaking beef brisket right here. Yeah, the, another returning favorite right there from Cluckadoodle Moo. Yeah, the returning favorites are always great. We don't always get them because it's a returning thing, but we tried them again, and they were still really freaking good. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Fine Fires YouTube. Let me know what your top items are in the comments if you can. I would love to hear from you. Smash that like button or fire it. <laughs>